What's up everyone? Sam and Rich are out here. Rich is behind the camera. Backcountry life guys. We're out dirt bike and this is our first spring dirt bike trip. We're switching from snow to dirt. We got our 2020 KTM 300 six days edition that we've uh, put our own graphic kit. It used to be, we used to call it the Christmas bike because the graphics kit was so bad. We hated it. It was ugly. Richard's riding this. This is his first time riding it. I've got Logan's 2020 Beta 300RR. We're going to go ride some single track, kind of shake off the cobwebs. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, don't touch the gas when you first start it. Why is that? Because it's fuel injected. What? 16 hours. Yeah. yeah. It was all me. to be not dusty but we'll see anyway guys so if you watched our last YouTube live we talked about the beta 200 and kind of the story behind why we got it we wanted to try it out smaller sea high a great grunty two-stroke motor for it just it just holds like I mean it's like I love it you can ride in a higher gear if you want to and lug it out and get traction still enough power to wheelie if you need to been a while since I've ridden out here so I'm not 100% sure where all the trails are anyway guys so beta made this bike for single track and gnarly technical stuff this is not a high speed through the desert bike can you ride it in the desert in high speed yes and is it fine yeah is it the best one nope but that's not a, that's okay this bike is a really really fun bike in all sorts of different ways like i didn't clutch that and just lugged over i was just looking for something else but like i said if you're looking for a bike that has plenty of grunt keep up with any of the 300s but doesn't have the the power to rip your arms off this is it i don't know where the single track went yeah now we got some single track guys so if you don't care about having the fastest bike out there you just want a bike that can go and just pretty much do it all and it's forgiving and easy to ride man this beta 200 is exactly that so like i'm getting these whoops and i mean I'm soaking them up fine like it's not terrible it's not as good as you know a bike that's made for the cross country racing but i like it for my skill ability it's funny
No, yeah. I like it. It's a cool bike. It just takes time getting used to, and you'll figure out the how to use the clutch with the power and then upshift when you feel like you want to just be in a cruising speed versus... Now, you typically stay in second because first is a little too much sometimes. Dude, that's funny you say that because... So, with the gearing on the XCWs, I despise first gear. Really? Yeah, because it, even in really technical situations, because it's so low, it just lights up the rear wheel and I can't get grip. So yeah. shifting up, the 300 has enough lug to pull the second gear up anything, plus get traction without lighting up. Now, if I just have stayed in first gear and pulled in the clutch a bit, it'd be fine. Yeah. But when I'm just kind of putting around in first gear, I, I like, ah, it has too much grunt. <laughs> and I give it a little too much gas. Yeah, and that and a whiskey throttle. Is and that's another reason why I like the XCs is I like the XCs gearing better than XCWs. Really? Yep, for the exact reason you just said. Nice. Alright. Oh, it's third gear. Five miles of hell I really liked it just because it had good controllable power and with the whole overall bike being a little bit lower to the ground like I I could do pivot turns it's a little bit you know better at you know manipulating the bike in technical situations Good job, by Beta. This is a Beta. I don't know how you guys. How are they supposed to say it? Obviously, Americans we slaughter everyone. But I really like it. It's really good. Oops. So like these bumps, like. It's soaking them up fine, like it's that kind of chatter where it's really loading up the whole suspension one after another without it allowing it to recover, jump over those rocks. Obviously, you know, with most stock bikes, everyone suspension is so subjective and you're gonna do whatever you want to do with it, but is it rideable? Obviously, yeah. Can the suspension be better? That's up to you for to decide. You know, I think so many of us overlook these smaller, more two-strokes because we think they're not, they don't have grunt, they're harder to ride, and blah, blah, blah. Not this 200, guys. Like, it's great. Oh, I probably should have waited for Richard. Oh, he's right there. And then with being a busy weekend like this, I'm just taking my time to make sure that I don't hit someone that's coming down the trail because I know there's some dudes out here that rip and they like their these they like their home turf and I got to get up in the morning and go ride and I don't want to have a head on collision. But the other thing with guys to think about is Beta has a for it and we didn't have to. It was awesome.
still got snow on the mountains. Yeah. So we're out in the desert. So is that Tooele? So no, that's oh. a, so five mile pass is out there. Oh, this is the old the Eagle yeah. um, mountain. And then I can't remember what that little city's called. It might not be a city. <laughs> it it may not be. The county. The county, yeah. And then like, you know, you can see the, the mine over there. Oh yeah, so there's just like a little hill section in that area. Oh, that's someone's camper. Yeah, I mean, I've, people, you can pull up, I don't like, people camp down by that, the campground down there. Yeah. Or not the campground, just like where we parked. I'm like, man, you could actually, if you just drove a little further, but. Such new bikes, I'm interested to see how it compares to the beta. Beta feet isn't comfy. No. But you're not supposed to sit down. So. Oh yeah, this one's way more comfortable. Select. It's on this side. Yeah, and the kill switch is on that side too. Oh wow. So the economics is totally different. Kato versus the Beta. So, totally different. You gotta get used to riding this bike. I do too. The motor is really, really, really good. Um, I feel like it's funny jumping from this one to that one. I feel way more confident on that bike. Oh, really? Like immediately, I feel more confident. And I don't know why. That's exactly what you want, though. You want to ride a bike that makes you feel confident. No, the ones that doesn't, it's so much harder to ride. It vibrates. Is that? Yeah, so this one doesn't have. A counterbalance in it. Oh, that's right. It's you not counterbalance, or that one is. Yeah. It's, the, not, it's not annoying, but when you switch from, you notice that immediately. Notice, but I probably wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't been on this bike right before. Yeah, and as soon as like, as soon as you get like ten minutes down the road, you forget. But yeah, you feel it in your feet a little bit and on the seat. Yeah. Um, but it's not overly annoying. And that seat is softer. Yeah. But you're, we should ride with no seat so we don't ever sit down. <laughs> Get us in, get us in shape.